Now, because of the coronavirus pandemic, a bunch of high school seniors competing in spring sports didn't get that last chance to shine on the prep stage. So through the end of June, we're recognizing some of these outstanding senior standouts. Time to head out to Clovis West to catch up with a couple future Bulldogs. You got to go all the way back to 2004 to find the last time Clovis West baseball won a Valley title. Every time when we'd be out here working late at nights and stuff, I'd always look at that and just wanted to say 2020 on there. And before the coronavirus pandemic shut down the high school baseball season for good, a couple of horses on the hill had the Golden Eagles thinking this might have been the year to end the title drought. Having a one-two is something that is needed. Righty lefty, that's that's pretty dirty. No one really had that. Senior Ishan Henderson was the lefty. And fellow senior Noah Galvin, the righty. Both could reach the 90s on the radar gun. We were confident that we could shut down any team with the pitching staff we had. We missed out on their final high school run together, but we're not done seeing these good friends competing here in the Valley. They're headed down the road to Fresno State, as both committed to play for the Bulldogs on the same day last summer after going on an official visit together. I've always looked at Fresno State as like a, as like a really, really top tier program for me, especially being so close to home. Your dream is in high school, you know, go on with your, your high school buddy, play college ball. It isn't really anything else I'd want to do, really. Galvin, who played his first two years of high school ball at Madera, had an ERA of just over one and a half and nearly 77 career innings on the mound for the Golden Eagles. Playing in the track also gives you a lot of exposure because it's the, one of the best uh, sections in the state and that really puts your name on the map. Henderson, meantime, had been nasty to start this season. He had an ERA just over one and had struck out 39 batters and only 20 innings pitched before his senior season was halted. And Ishan can do more than just pitch. He also played center field and first base for C-Dub and was hitting 348 with a couple homers through the Eagles' first nine games this season. I like to swing it. I hope, hopefully I still get to swing it in college. Either way, both these guys can't wait to be the latest in a long line of local guys to join Mike Batesel's program. It's definitely really cool having Valley guys in there. Like me, I've gone to the Fresno State football games for years, basketball, baseball games for years since I was a little kid. And the fact that I get to play for that team now, that, that brings me pride, you know?